Amen. Right. Always hand stand in honor of the word, not the man. Amen. We stand in honor. God bless you today. Amen. 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 Please stay and rest on your feet as the young people lead us in devotion this morning. Amen. 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 I read Proverbs 31, 28 through 31 in IV. Her children all rise and are blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but surpass them all. Charm is deceptive. deceptive, and beauty is free. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done, and let her words bring her praise at the city gates. When you think about the work of God and the work of His hand, it ought to just amaze your mind. 
media. Some people love to be in church. Some people love to worship God and give Him praise. Amen. God is yet good. I might not have two nickels in my pocket, Brother Ron, but God is good. <laughs> Why? Because I know He's going to feed me later today. The Word says that the lilies of the field and the birds of the oh my God, they don't Did y'all know that? Y'all see birds of it? You know why they look up? I like it. David says, I will look to the hills. Oh my God, I'm preaching again. Ain't it right now? I will look to the hills for what covers all my hair. Bird said, I will look to the hills for what covers all my words. <laughs> all that food that's going to be here. I'm going to say it again. This is Mother's Day. Oh my God, come on, y'all. It's Mama Day. Mama Day. Okay, you ain't all share with us so 
Even after the mother of them are all gone, we can still honor them. Did y'all know that, young people? Every brother, you, you honor them by how you live your life, by the words they, they taught you, the lessons. And so mother of them may be gone, but guess what? They are in here. I know we can all remember the things mom them told us, but why this can't wait? Stuff they shared with us, things they shared with us. So I thank God for mothers. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah on today. Listen, we're going right, we're going right to prayer on today. A few names on our prayer list on today we want to lift up as we go through our service on today. Amen. We're we'll pray for Brother Grace, for special individuals who are actually going through in hospitals or recovering of the life. We want to lift up today, even Brother Grace, for and uh, Sister Hyman. I see that she's here with him. Made our voice not totally made, but let's see, made our way here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Hyman, for being here on today. We want to pray for Brother Mary. We want to pray for Amen, Sister Ruby Johnson and, and Brother Sister Jean James, Amen, classmate of mine. Amen. All the way back in my hometown. I want to pray for the Wilson family. Got a text this morning with Sister Wilson asking for prayer for, for, for uh, family during this season. We want to pray for even also Brother Charlie Middleton who's having surgery on tomorrow. I want to lift him up. But Brother Charlie, you be encouraged. God is yet with you and not forgotten about you. Amen. I want to pray for Brother Sister Jasmine Wilson. Amen. Listen, be encouraged, Sister Wilson, in this season. Amen. The word says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will raise the standard. The standard is what he does to block you. Amen. You ever been almost been in an accident and something happened in the car? That's God raising the standard. It may be a standard of the line. It may be, it may be angels. It may be something that blocks you. Amen. From being hurt or harmed, God will raise the standard. I want to break this issue called mental health. Let me tell you, mental health is real in our community. Mental health is real in this world. Amen. This week I saw that one of the judge sisters passed away. She passed away from mental health. Then watch this. The next day she was going to go be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. But yet this issue called mental health. Everybody say mental health. Yeah. It's nothing to be looked at. It's real, Ron. It's real. Yeah. Her daughters and her sister had to be on the stage. But the next day they were going to induct her into the Hall of Fame. And she said, I dealt with this issue called mental health for years. Yeah. And I know even our young people deal with it. Amen. You saw the young lady, amen, that passed away, amen. A, a freshman at Southern University. Yeah. She said, oh, why she been dealing with this issue for years? Mm. And she said, nobody paid attention. That's why young people, that's why we talk to you and engage you to get your attention and make sure we're talking to you. Why we want to make sure, are you all right? But Thomas and Lawrence will always ask them, hey, how you doing? Tell me where you are. Amen. Tell me, tell me how you feeling. Because communicating helps us to know where you are. This issue of mental health, that's why on June 11th, amen. Everybody say June 11th. Amen. We're going to be having our youth, amen, mental health rally here at the church. I'm going to come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Deal with our various issues on the Saturday from 10 to 3 o'clock here at the church. We're going to be Listen, we're not just going to talk about it. We're going to be about a solution. Because our children have to have a, what's called a release valve. A release valve allows us to talk about it, right? It allows us to deal with issues that happen. Amen. And, and, and right, J. Eric Johnson. It allows us to talk about these issues and learn how we deal and cope. Amen. So mental health is really real. We want to be about providing a solution for our young people. We even also want to pray for Brother Mitchell. Pray for Brother Roger. Uh, Brother Roger Reed. Amen. Brother, uh, Brother Reed. Amen. We want to also pray for this issue of senseless gun violence in our community. It's amazing. Young people that have been caught up in the violence of this issue of guns and the challenge. Found the other day that the, the younger gang members don't want to really listen to the OGs. They're not even listening to them. They want to do their own thing. We have to pray for that issue and yeah. challenge in our community. Yeah. We want to pray for caregivers that take care of our sick loved ones all around the world. Pray for yeah. Yes, that's right. That's right, RJ. That's right. Pray, pray for young, pray for young people. Pray for, pray for people having challenges dealing with mothers who have passed on transition from life to eternity. So we also want to pray for our country. Pray for this war in Ukraine. So as we're getting ready to stand on our feet, getting ready to amen, to, to uh, go stand on our feet, rest on our feet as we get ready to pray that Lord will get to see, Lord will yet be with us. We're going to ask you to stand where you are, amen. If you're able to stand, we want to pray. Amen. We didn't call every name that's on our prayer list. Amen. You can let the people in Thomas tell them to come on in. We can, we'll pray. They can stand there and we'll pray for them. Amen. We can all pray right here together. Amen. Now we'll come on in. We will pray for them. I want to pray for those who are dealing with the issue of COVID and, and challenges. I want to pray for uh, Brother, uh, uh, Brother Sam. I want to pray for 
in your blood. God, we need you with this issue called mental health in our community. This challenge, oh God. We know, God, that you're powerful. You're more than, you're greater than, oh God. You're the greatest power, God. Because even Jesus, when he crossed the boy, got up the boat, he met Legion. And Legion said, there are many in here. That's why we're Legion. But Jesus spoke the word. God, we know you can yet speak the word. We know that Jesus is a man of us. So he can yet, but yet, speak it. He don't have to come. He can just speak the, the word. God, we need you for our children, our young people, oh God, our college students, God, who are committed to it, who are taking their lives, oh God, young people, that which God, we need you. We don't need another preacher, we don't need another bishop, we don't need another politician. We need you. We need your power, your preeminence, spirit of the God, fall, fresh of us, spirit of the living God, fall, fresh of us today. We need you. We need you, God. We're tired of crying. We're tired of crying out to you. We're tired of laying before you. Possibly, God. We need you. We need you, God, like needing air to breathe. We need you. We need you in our homes, our communities, up and down the streets, up and our children go back and forth. We need you. We need you to issue God violence in our community, God. It just seems like it's commonplace for young people to feel like they have to attack one another. Show us, God. Reveal to us. How do we help you help this situation? Because we know this is not our home. Because we have to live here. So we ask you to show us, reveal to us, how to resolve these issues. Be in the service of today, oh God. Let your spirit have free reign today, oh God. As we speak to mothers and their children, oh God. Let your spirit, oh God, rest on us today. Thank you for what you will do in our lives. We pray for the church doors open in your name. We pray for blessings, bountiful blessings over people, oh God. Getting a challenge of God financially, emotionally, spiritually. Those who are seeking the blessing of God, we ask you in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would then do it. Meet every need, oh God. David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. Lord, we know David was saying that every need I have has already been met. Remind us, God, every need we got is met, it's done. According to the power that worketh in us. Have your way today, God. As we celebrate you and glorify you for victories. God, we walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Thank you for victories you're going to give us. God, well, we can't trace your hand, God. We're going to trust your heart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you are the greatest power. And you shall never be defeated. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus. In the land, we pray and ask it all, and all that agree said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah today. My God, my God.
Brother, the back, John, are you back there? Amen. I see it back there. I see it. I see it, John. Amen. Is it fine? Brother John, where are we at, brother? Amen. Amen.
Amen. We're ready. Amen. He provided a song for us on today. Amen. Where is John? Amen. That's it. Come on. Come on, high school. Come on, high school. Amen. Amen. He got a special song he want to sing for the mothers on today. He's going to go right to the Word. Amen. And share a word. It's good to see everybody here today. Did y'all speak to the people on your left and right? Make sure y'all speak to the folks. Amen. Just don't sit down and don't speak to them. Amen. You didn't speak to me. Amen. Amen. Right, Brother Tommy. Amen. Amen. God, good to see y'all today. God bless you today. God bless you. Amen. Come on, John. Amen. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. We ready today. Amen. Y'all give this young man a hand. Mother's Day. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to you. 
you mothers. Amen. On today. Hallelujah. It's time. It's preaching time. It's time to go right to the word on today. Amen. Here you go to God. Amen. And a word of amen right now. Let's pray to God. God of grace, God of mercy, God of love. We love you. From the rising of the sun, God, to the going down to say, God, we love you. We want you to know, God, we love you. And everything in us, God, we love you. God, now all that I am is because of thee. All that I'm not is because of me. Me and my shortcomings, my failings, oh God. Hear my prayer on today, God. I need you every hour. God, be in this word today, oh God. We share a word of encouragement for mothers and for children, God, in this season, oh God. God, thank you for mothers that wiped our dirty noses, God, bathed us, oh God, when we were filthy, oh God, from coming outside for playing all day, oh God, going to school. God, thank you for mothers that nurtured us. God, you gave us the right one <laughs> when you gave us mother. Thank you. Thank you, God, even for mothers, even for aunties and grandmothers and great-grandmothers that stepped in, oh God, and, and played tag team. God, they tag team us, oh God, they, they, they were tagging, they were tagging, they been switching. God, thank you for mothers and grandmothers and great-grandmothers and, and aunties, oh God, and sisters, big sisters that help take care of us. Thank you. We want to honor them with our life, oh God. God, we ask you to be in this word on today. We share, oh God, today, word of encouragement for mothers and for children, oh God, all over the land. May God let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God, we'll be careful to give you praise. God, put in this word today, in this sermon, oh God, that we share a word on today of encouragement on Mother's Day. We'll be careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. But there's one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for us. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Come on, man. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. We honor these women. Amen. We honor these women who sacrificed over the years and mothers who gave and, and nurtured us so far. We, we just thank God today for them. All right, we're going to go right to the word. Amen. Open me your text. If we want to share, amen. I love it. A uh, mother's story. I like to always share, amen. The importance of mothers and how mothers move forward. We're going to go to the book of 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel. Amen. 2 Samuel. Amen. In the Old Testament. 2 Samuel. Not 2 Samuel, but 2 Samuel. Amen. Amen. 2 Samuel. Amen. Familiar text. Amen. We share with you from time to time. Amen. It's a great story about this great mother, this great woman that sacrificed, amen, amen, for her children. Second Samuel, we always stand in honor of the word, not the man. So we ask you to rest on your feet, amen, stand on your feet. Those who are able, amen, able to stand, amen, ask that you stand on your feet, amen. And sometimes we have to sacrifice standing on our feet for the word. Why? Because it's the word. In the Old Testament, they stood the entire time of the service, sometimes three to six hours from the beginning to the end. Amen. But we don't do that on the road. We're not going to make you do that. We'll make you stand just for a brief time. 2 Samuel chapter number 21. 2 Samuel chapter number 21. 2 Samuel chapter number 21. You could hear the pages turning and the pages are yet turning. I know it. By your amens. Amen. You need me to hold up, Pastor. All right, 2 Samuel chapter 21. 21. And we're going to begin reading read briefly and then we'll come back to it here in a minute to finish up. 2 Samuel chapter 21. Begin at verse number 1. Amen. Verse 1. I'll be reading the New Living Translation version, a simple version of the Amen. I always sometimes read just to make sure we get clarity for clarity of thought and clarity of explanation. Verse 1 says, There was a famine during David's reign that lasted for three years. So David asked the Lord about it, and the Lord said, The famine has come because Saul and his family are guilty of murdering the Gibeonites. So the king summoned the Gibeonites. They were not part of Israel, but were all that was left of the nation of Amorites. The people of Israel had sworn not to kill them, but Saul, in his zeal for Israel and Judah, had tried to wipe them out. Verse 3, 
David asked them, what can I do for you? How can I make amends so that you will bless the Lord's people again? Verse number four says, well, money can't settle this matter between us and the family of Saul. The Gibeonites replied, neither can we demand the life of anyone in Israel. What can I do then, David asked. Just tell me and I will do it for you. Verse 5 says, Then they replied, It was Saul who planned to destroy us, to keep us from having any place at all in the territory of Israel. Verse 6, So let seven of Saul's sons be handed over to us, and we will execute them before the Lord of Gideon on the mountain of the Lord. All right, the king said, I will do it. Verse 7, the king spared Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth, who was Saul's grandson, because of the oath David and Jonathan had, had sworn before the Lord. Verse 8, but he gave them Saul's two sons, Armand and Mephibosheth, whose mother was Respa, daughter of Ai. He also gave them the five sons of Saul's daughter, Mireh, the wife of Adriel, son of Barzal, from Mihal. The men of Gibeon executed them on the mountain before the Lord. So all seven of them died together at the beginning of the barley harvest. Verse 10, then Respa, daughter of Ai the mother of two of the men spread burlap on a rock and stayed there the entire harvest season. She prevented the scavenger birds from tearing at their bodies during the day and stopped wild animals from eating them at night. Mm. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. We're going to share with you today a mother's love. A mother's love. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. A mother's love. Amen. This is typically given. Second Sunday, we normally speak, but we ought to encourage word not just for the young people, but also to the adults, amen, that are yet with us on today. Concubines were taken from the, from the, from the ranks of female slaves uh, uh, or, or maids of a family. Their express purpose was to produce heirs, and, and once they had produced male offspring, their status and social standing were similar to those of a regular wife. A man was regarded as the concubine's husband, found in Judges 20 and 4, and, and their children appeared in genealogies uh, and, and would receive a part of the inheritance. It is interesting to, to note that concubines appear mostly in the patriarchal period, during the early monarchy. Concubines were connected to royal households. Here in this text, as we walk up to our particular text on today, only two biblical verses, passages, mention this lady here, this mother called Respa. Everybody say Respa. Respa. And both are connected to the early time of David's reign, probably before the affair with Bathsheba. Amen. In 2 Samuel chapter number 11. You remember Bathsheba when he had that bed back and beyond it? Bathsheba, y'all remember Bathsheba. Don't act like you don't know Bathsheba. Respa, whose name means live cold, is part of the royal household of, of Isabel, which means a man of shame. Isabel was the only remaining son of Saul. Watch this. The mere fact that the biblical author included information about Respa's father suggests that her family must have been important and that she was not a slave. Respa. Exists on the edge of King David's story. And as a woman and a concubine of an earlier king, she had few options because she did, she was concubine and didn't have a husband. As a matter of fact, her prospects look very bleak and dreary. Here, her, her, her two sons are now dead. Normally, when a woman didn't, in that time didn't have a husband, the sons would take it. But now, there are two sons. Yeah. She only had a now dead. And the larger family uh, of her deceased husband at the brink of annihilation, and nonetheless, she acted nobly because of what she was facing. Mean, his mother and I was doing mothers act nobly. Amen. They always act properly at the right time. Anybody that's my love mother. Mother, mother, mother know how to cope the situation that mother, mother know how to be reasonable. Amen. I say me no, but what's something about mothers? Amen. Amen. That's what we want to talk about a mother 
us love on today. Her presence in, in two crucial moments of David's history makes her a kingmaker and a nation builder. The rest of us personal circumstances are far from ideal. She belongs in a household watch this, of Saul. And even though the, 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 the able general Abner is, is propping up Ishmael, the weak descendant of Saul, as Saul's concubine, Resper has no security, does nothing to protect Resper in this season. Her fate seems totally out of her hands. It's totally, totally out of her hands. We, 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 we can learn a lot from this lady called, called Resper in this story. Amen. We, we, we can learn how mothers should act at appropriate times. Amen. I want to honor our mothers. Amen. With a brief, 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 brief poem that I, I read across the board. Let me share it with you. It says, there are times when only mother's love can understand our tears, can soothe our disappointments, and calm all our fears. The, there are times when, when only a mother's love can share the joy we feel. When something we dreamed about quite suddenly is real. There are times when only a mother's faith can, can help us on life's way and inspire in us the confidence we need from day to day. For a mother's heart and a mother's faith and a mother's steadfast love were fashioned by the angels and sent from God above. Amen. Anonymous writer. And they've written that poem. I want to share that with our mothers. Come on, let's give our mothers a hand. Amen. Amen. A mother's faithfulness will make the best of a bad situation. And in this particular text, in verse number 10, here it was, rest of the mother, these, these two men who were, who, who were killed and, and hung up on the side of the hill by the Gibeonites. Then the word says, then rest the daughter of Ai. She, 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 she went to the tomb and she spread her off on, on a rock and, and stayed there the entire season. This particular season we're talking about is the barley season. Everybody say barley season. This particular season, the barley season, a long period of time, it's a whole barley harvest. The gathering of things planted and the natural time of reaping joy. Now look, look, look at the, 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 the paradigm here. The shift here, how she's yet having to do this from the time he's supposed to be gathering in and bringing in the crops. The harvest season of Israel was around a month of Gisleel. From November and from November and December, with staggered sowing of seeds over a period of four months. The first crops harvested are flesh and barley. Around that time of the month, Nisan, the month of March, could coincide with the festival of Passover. So often we find ourselves caught in a situation, amen, a caught in a circumstance what, that we sometimes cannot have control. Isn't that right, mother? Sometimes life happens to us, happens to mother, and time we have no control over. But mothers have a way of working out in a situation, turning a bad situation what, into a good situation. Mothers have a way of turning what? Lemons what into lemonade. Isn't that good? Mama don't have, I mean, it was mothers that had created this thing called lemonade. Amen. They just turned that sour taste of a fruit and made what? Lemonade. Mama them got a way of working in all situations and showing themselves strong. Yeah. Mothers always taught us we were born in situations, but, but situations didn't have to be born in us. Dealing with different issues and challenges that we met. Mothers were always good. Here it was, this mother, this mother, Respa, found her sons hanging on the side of a hill. She decided to be, to be about protecting her sons. Amen. That's what this verse number, number, number 10 says. She spread a prayer out, out on a rock, amen, and stayed there the entire harvest season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't the mother didn't just stay there just a little while. She didn't stay there one. The, the season was normally three to four months long. But mama decided, guess what, that's my favorite. I know they're gold. I know they're left here. I don't even execute it. I don't even do it. Mama, you gotta protect your baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't do what mama's protect. Mama's are always good about it. Protecting children, for protecting, for finding a way, for making a way, for helping children. We we thank God for mothers. Amen. And here it was, mothers are always, you know what? Sometimes mothers are always mother. Sometimes they would say, I'm not hungry, baby, y'all go ahead and eat. But then sometimes people, you know what? There wasn't enough for everybody. Amen. I know y'all good, y'all were born, but y'all had a bunch of food in y'all house. Amen. But sometimes mama said, Y'all go ahead and eat. I'm not hungry. Mothers had a way of sacrificing. Mother was sacrificing by the new dress. What? So the children could have something new. I love, I love mothers. They always take a bad situation and turn it out for good. Amen? We, we have to remember that, 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 that just because we were 
going into a situation. The situation that happened to be born to us. Mothers were always telling us that. The situation we are born into, we can make the best of it. We can change where we come from. We can change from living in the project. We can change from living on the other side of the track. We can change from living where they're shot in the house. Yeah. Even though there's a front door and a back door, and they get you can get have something better. Mama right. said, go to school. Be some mothers were always encouraging us. Mothers found bad And guess what? The mother found we even know we didn't even know we was poor. Amen. 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 How do you? How we just thought it was just the way it was? So we just hung out and just, you know what? I, I was born in, we used to live in the flats, and then the, 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 well, the flats called the flats because all the houses over there had flat type rooms. See, that in the flats where I would be, the houses didn't have peace, they were flat. And everybody lived in a shotgun house. You know what a shotgun house is? Amen. Come talk to me. Amen. I'm going to show you what a shotgun house is. Amen. I'm going to show you how you are always, and the mother would always tell us it's not how you start. It's how you finish. Mothers were always pouring into us and sharing with us and making a, making a bad situation turn out to be good. 2 Timothy 1 and 5 says, I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwells first in your grandmother, Lois, and then your mother, Eunice. And, and, and I, I, I so can tell Paul, Paul is I know it. It's also in you. Paul tells Timothy, it was in your mother. It was in your mother's mother. I know it's in you. Mothers were always giving us that love. I don't know the first this thing that my mother ever introduced me to was Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. Mothers were always introducing us to stuff that would make us better. Amen. I share all the time when I first came in. The first woman I would love was my mama. The first woman. Come on, the Lord ahead, man. Amen. 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 Young man, you want to know what I tell young ladies all the time. You, you think young man, and you want to know what? Yeah, you, you, you think he's a good guy? You think he look cute? Amen. He got wet hair. He got a six pack. Amen. He got a nice will. <laughs> Ask him, how's your relationship with your mama? My God. Oh, Amen. 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 Tell me about your mama. No, yeah, take me, let me meet your mama. Let me see how you get to act with your mama. Because right. typically it's an indicator of how, well, how you gonna treat me. Amen. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all later on. Trying to help y'all today. Amen. You want to see him run? You want to see him wolf run? Ask him how the relationship is with his mama. Amen. 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 It gives you an indication of the love that they share. But when mothers were always pouring into us, sharing the relationship with, between the sons and mothers are so important. Real mothers know how to take, how to take bad situations and turn around for, for, for the good. No matter how bad the situation is, real mothers know how to sacrifice in a bad situation, even though it might not be good. The real mother will stay around sometimes. <laughs> even though the situation wasn't very good and positive, but it wasn't for the sake of the children. Amen. That's what, that's what mothers do. Mothers are, mothers are faithful. Mothers, mothers do whatever it takes for their children. Yeah. They are faithful to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine this woman, Respa, sitting out on a rock with a brick? You don't want to burn out. Bro, burn out is like a thick cloth laying on top of a rock for four months. Yeah. What? Protecting two dead bodies. Mothers. Take a bad situation. She stayed there. She didn't come to her wife for her babies. She stayed there. I thank God for mothers. Mother, come on, give the Lord. I thank God for mothers. mothers. Mothers, by their very nature, are nurturers. They feed us as children. We're yet in the womb, and yet even afterward. But here it was. Can you imagine a mother on top of a rock, resting on the rocks? Oh my God, that's a good one. Protecting what her babies. So exactly, mothers of uh, uh, mothers' faithfulness is an unconditional commitment. Mothers have unconditional commitment. Well, Pastor, what do you see that? Let me look at the part of verse number 10. Notice it says, she prevented the scavenger birds from tearing at their bodies during the day. Amen. Can you imagine that woman? That was the big old bird go, ah, ah, ah. And the mama swing that. Yeah. She protected her babies from big birds that could have eaten her life. She was committed. She was committed during the daytime. And you know, she wasn't just committed during the daytime. Look what the text said. The text said, in you know, that point, he said, the, the birds of the day and stop the animals 
from eating them at night. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. She protected them. That's commitment to the living.
it works out for our good. In Romans 8 and 28. The biblical author again includes a, a complete pedigree of wrestler. But when David is told about her, she, she's not just a, a, a just any mother. She is the daughter of Ai and a concubine of Saul. Mothers, the mothers do do uh, do matter and their status. They teach us that love conquers a multitude of sins. Here begin on being on the mountain uh, uh, before the Lord, close to the seven bodies, motivates David to consider the very important act. There are times in our lives that it made a difference when mothers have taken a stand for what was right. When they stood up for children. Amen. Mother, my, my mothers interceded on behalf of, of other women. And guess what? Lives got blessed. We thank God for, for mothers that pour into our lives, that sacrifice, that are faithful. They love us. They sacrifice sometimes not having just so they could have. And here it was. Respite does this, this, this act of protecting it day and night throughout the entire season. Protecting these bodies. And because she did that, guess what? Encouragement, the encouragement happens to keep David. The David decides to make a difference. Decides to go and protect. I thank God for rest. Be an example of a, of a mother's love. A mother's love will stick with us and love us long after when everybody else walks away. Okay. When everybody else was going away from these bodies, guess what? Restful was right there. Restful was there, sacrificed. When everybody else walked away, yeah, yeah. it was Restful doing a, doing, doing a commitment for four months on the top of a rock, protecting her children, protecting her last living heirs, her son. The importance of mothers is that you found even at the cross. When Jesus is, is, is there yet at the cross, dying on the cross. And Jesus, yet, even when everybody else had walked away, you do remember it was the disciples, they didn't go to the cross. It was the women that went to the cross. Why? Because the men had walked away, they were afraid. Right. They were afraid of what was going to happen to them, brother. They decided to walk away. Amen. But here it was, Jesus' mother. Yes, yes. At the foot of the cross. Oh, yeah. Watching. A very, that's why mothers will stick with us until the bitter end. When everybody else walks away, mama! That's my mama. That's my mama. That's, that's my mama. Jesus says, Mother! Behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. Jesus said, oh, Mama, you been good to me. Oh, yeah, I came for a short period of time. So, I'm not gonna leave you there, but I gotta go back and be with my heavenly father. Jesus on that old rugged cross on that Friday night dies. Dies on the cross. But notice even this mother was faithful to the bitter end. Because three days later they show up at the grave of Jesus. Amen. A mother's commitment. His power. But her son Jesus had done just what he said, didn't he? Amen. He died Friday night. Come on. Guys. They put him in a barber tomb all day Saturday. He stayed there all Saturday night. Yeah. But early Sunday morning. Early. Early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. They went to go early. and get the body. Early. He hanged and was sitting up on the rock said, He is not here. He arose. Why are you looking for the living amongst the dead? He is arose. He arose like he said that he would. Amen. Amen. A mother's love. A mother's love like restlessness. It is unconditional. They, 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 they turn a bad situation to good. That they have unconditional commitment. And they provide encouragement. Come on, everybody, give your mothers a hand today. I mean, give your mothers a hand today. But nothing on us for, for, for holding on with everybody else who's walking away. Mama and them was standing right there. Yeah. We know many stories of mothers who put up homes and, 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 and get sacrificed and, and store away money and allow people to use vehicles. Should have been used, but Mama said, you know what, that's my baby. Amen. Respa says, it's worth it to protect my kids' body. 
So she decided to commit herself to protect him. Young people, I want you to understand, I always remember the most important person in your corner is mother. I'm gonna get the Lord here. The most important person that nourishes you from the womb out and in that you put and even being around each other, we was talking about how mothers always say, That's my baby. Amen. I remember I was a grown man, deacon. Amen. And my mama would, would tell talking to people, say, that's my baby over there. I'm a grown man. I'm 41 years old. My mama had a way of baby. No, but I didn't tell her that. Amen. I said that I need my grip. Amen. I'm a grown man. He said, boy, you always my baby. A mother's commitment to us. Mother's love goes with us all the way. Because of the relationship. And it's something that men will never be able to understand. You can't get jealous about it, man. It's just something that God did when he attached the umbilical cord, the nurturing of a mother to a And that's, I'm not going to get in the way of it. Amen. I know where my wife and her son I don't get in the way. Amen. But he and I have an understanding. Amen. We, we know. When dad step in and then he may, we don't raise it up a little bit. So, and amen. But if you do anything to affect it, amen, he never does. He always respects his mother. They have a special relationship, and I understand that. And we as men have to understand the relationship between a mother and a child. So, so I know, I know, I know that relationship you have. Amen. Amen. And, and TJ, Travis will never understand it. You will never understand. But we respect it because there's something there. It's a God thing. Everybody say God thing. God. It's something that God did. Yep. And we can never step in the middle of it. Amen. Amen. Because of the great work of a mother's love. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Amen. 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 As every head is bowed, amen. We want to pray, amen. Even in the season, amen. My mic is going to get it out. Amen. We want to pray, amen, at this time, amen. For our loved ones, and pray for those that may need prayer. Amen. Those who may be watching online, those who may be in the church that may need prayer, amen. We want to offer a prayer for them during this season, amen. amen. Let's pray. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you for what you've yet done, God, in our life. Thank you for being with us, God. Lord, we know that there may be one in the church today, God, that may not know you're a part of this. He may be watching online, oh God, has never developed a full relationship, oh God, with you. Help us, oh God, to always know, God, the most important thing is to get a relationship right with you, to develop that relationship with you. Help our mothers, oh God, to keep helping us, oh God, to develop that relationship, to share, to love, to give, oh God, like mothers have done. Oh God, to be in the church, oh God, to never accept you as your Lord and Savior, Lord. Watching online. We do not offer Christ yet even to them. As we repeat this prayer with me, oh God. Those who are in the church and those who are watching online. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I am a sinner. I, am a sinner. I, believe, I believe that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Christ. That he died, he died, that he rose again, he rose again. And that he's coming back, he's coming back for, me. for me. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Be my Lord.
We don't have a relationship. We offer you Jesus Christ today.
sacrifice for us. Amen. For standing by us. Amen. And sometimes to a fault. Amen. Sometimes mother was telling us, Amen, we were wrong. Amen. We knew we were wrong. Amen. Guess what? Mama stood right by us, did Hallelujah. They stood right by us. They gave. They sacrificed. They were committed all the way. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Make them prepare to pass out items for the ladies. Amen. Brother Jonathan was saying something during that time ago. You got another one for us, Jay? Amen. I know it's in you, man. I know it's in you. Amen. Hallelujah.
everybody here trying to make your mama happy? Let's give, let's give them praise. No, if you're trying to make your mama happy. You always want to do something to make your mama happy. Nobody else. I did when he was training us, bringing us up. He said, now, you don't have to do anything for me. He said, I'm, I'm fine. But on holidays, on your mother's birthday, whatever it is, take care of your mama. That's what he told us, to take care of our mama. He he, 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 it's no big deal with him, but he wants to make sure that we take care of mama. So we're going to take care of nobody else. Take care of mama. Hey, you want to explain the red rose, Deacon? The, the red rose, the white roses is just for the uh, mothers that uh, their mothers is not here. And the red rose is just a showing of uh, an honor to all of our mothers. We just honor you on this occasion. That's what those roses are for. Just to honor you and let you know that we love you. Thank you for the job that you've done. Thank you. That's a blessing within itself. There are some mothers that raise those children by themselves. That's a special mother. Some mothers that raise sons by themselves. Those are special mothers. So we just wanted to honor you today with these roses. Son, I couldn't get him to say nothing. 
Well, we just want to say thank God, Pastor, for you. Amen. Man, if you don't know how blessed you've been for the Elbow Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. 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 And the heart that you have, the heart that you have yeah. for the ladies and for the young ladies as well. We just say thank you for the amen. amen. For a while now, y'all, y'all may not be able to hear, but Sister Patterson has a beautiful voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She has a beautiful voice. Amen. We just wanted to sing just a little bit loud. <laughs> <laughs> she tell me, since I'm around, we don't sing so loud, then they probably hear me. But she has a beautiful voice. Amen. She so has a beautiful spirit. Amen. So next week, y'all, we're going to celebrate. It's going to be this in the morning. And I've asked you guys that. As a love offering of $25, we ask that you would do that for us. When you come in that morning, we're going to have envelopes for you. You want to put it in the envelope, uh, however you want to do it. But we want to, uh, and we ask that you would do that for our pastor and his wife. They gave her a little something on last week, but I'm quite sure this is going to be part of hers as well. We want to have a good time that morning. Yes, if everybody, how many of y'all will be here next Sunday morning? Amen. God bless you. Amen. It's going to be a good practice. Amen. So we just want to say thank you. We're looking forward to seeing everybody on next Sunday morning. Amen. Sister, so, if you have anything you want to say, yes. Okay. All right. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Listen, I still want to make an announcement about our our, our uh, youth mental health rally that will be happening on June the eleventh. Amen. Here at our church, and we're asking all young people uh, from elementary to high school. This issue of mental health, y'all, is real. Amen. I've, been, I've been hurting all week, amen, uh, what's happening in our community. On my Facebook account, I, I put out about the young lady that, a freshman at Southern University, she took her life. Last week. She was a cheerleader. She took her life. She was dealing with this issue of depression. Our young people from, from elementary school all the way up are dealing with these issues. They, have a child like mine, but they're required to deal with adult issues. And, and it's, it's serious, and it's a silent killer. If you don't know it's, it's happening all around us. Why? Because Satan has a plot. Can we forget God's plan? In her note, I don't know I'm to remember, uh, but in her note, she said, I lost my connection with God. And you wonder why I always say, bring your kids to church. Bring your kids, bring your kids, make sure your children know God. She said, I lost my connection with God. She was a cheerleader at the Soto High School for four years. Went to Southern University, blew out her knee, and then life started happening around her more. What would make a young woman in the prime of her life do that? She said, people were not listening to me. That's what parents will tell you. Talk to your children. Just don't ask Trailer how you doing. Delve into it. Don't just ask Amaya. Get, get off in there. Get off in there. So still, get off into your kid's life. Because a lot of our children are suffering in silence. That's what mental health is. When you suffer, Our children have to have a release valve. That's what I call it. 
They have to have that. With this bullying stuff and this cyberbullying and all this other craziness. It's out of control. It's serious. The door of a thing, it can't happen to your house. Grandmothers, great grandmothers, spend time. We need to find out what's going on in people's lives, not children's lives. They may not mean to put them. Amen, but this is serious. It just happened last week. Last week. Amen. 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 